Gold tin laser bar bonding, the need for accuracy and process control. Let's take a look at the eutectic bonding technology, the application of heat to both laser and C-mount using a controlled downward pressure, an inert atmosphere, and forming gas to produce a fluxless process. The binary gold tin phase diagram has two eutectic compositions. It is the 80-20 by weight alloy with a melting point of 278C that is used in this process. The 80-20 composition is chosen because of its proven wetting characteristics, great joint strength, superior resistance to corrosion, and excellent thermal properties. So how does FineTech integrate this process technology into a proven high-yield solution? Using a graphical user interface, the operator selects dye and substrate temperature, inert gas atmosphere, force, and time to produce a repeatable, archivable protocol. To help eliminate the formation of an oxide layer, forming gas with approximately 5% hydrogen is chosen for its oxygen-reducing atmosphere. It is shown here with the exhaust inactive to demonstrate the gas flow. Now, with the inert gas enclosure removed, let's take a look at the process. The C-mount, or substrate, is loaded onto the heating plate and held down by vacuum. Inert gas flow surrounds the active area. Next, the laser bar is picked from waffle or gel pack by either a heated or unheated tool, depending on the subsequent process steps. The laser bar is mounted onto the heat sink, taking care to allow for the desired degree of overhang. So, how is this alignment performed? Using a patented split field vision system, both ends of the bar are aligned to the C-mount using the highest optical power. The fact that these optics can be translated along the laser bar is a unique fine tech feature. A suitable profile is selected, including temperatures for the heated tool and substrate, the inert gas flow rate, the applied force, and the process allowed to run its course. After bonding, the assembly is removed from the heating plate and placed in the output tray. But how accurately are they bonded? Base machine accuracy is determined using glass scales, one for the die, one for the substrate. After alignment and placement, the vernier pattern is read directly on the machine. Submicron accuracy assured. The error can be resolved with half micron resolution and is due to the combination of a systematic machine component and the operator misalignment contribution. Final bonded accuracy is more complex. It is the vector addition of machine-related pre-bond errors plus those induced during the bonding process. This latter contribution includes thermal expansion effects and bond line contributions as illustrated by the larger vector radius. For certain well-controlled processes, submicron post-bond accuracies are achievable, but by no means routine. The unmatched accuracy and repeatability of the fine placer system allows for a reproducible post-bond process. From such a stable baseline performance, post-bond accuracy can be further enhanced and controlled by process refinements.